Welcome to game number 22 of the 1968 Bob Gibson replay, where the St. Louis Cardinals will be traveling to New York City, Queens, and face the New York Mets at Shea Stadium. The Mets will be pitching uh, right-hander Dick Selma, who was 9-10 in 1968 with a 2.75 ERA. Gibson, as you can see, is 12-6 and six at the moment. Um, gave up a couple earned runs his last start um, against the uh, you go against the Philadelphia Phillies. He gave up two earned runs, four total, two were earned, um, and uh, that's where we stand. Let's get started with the game. We got a two-four. That's a K chance. He's a righty. It's a 12 plus 5 in Shea. 17, 7 struck him out. Kirk Flood. 1 6 K chance. He's a righty. 6 plus 5 is 11, 20. 5 4, ground out the third. And Roger Maris. One one. K chance. Righty seven. Twelve. Three struck him out. Quick work for Dick Selma. Gibson should be pretty tough at Shea with the plus five on the K for ballpark. He'll be up against Harrelson, Stahl, and Cleon Jones. Five, two possible error chance. Six, five, righty, single past the second baseman. Check to see if there's a throwing error. Thirteen. Second baseman is a, that's Javier, he's a seven, so there's nothing there. So just a clean single past the second baseman. Larry Stahl, four, four, that's a possible home run chance. He's a lefty, it reaches that range, 11. Uh-oh, he's lefties are tough on him, but and he's a nine, so one to nine. Larry Stahl will have a home run. One. That's gone. Home run Larry Stahl. There we go. Stoll hits a two-run homer. That'll bring up Cleon Jones. Fast start for the Mets and Shea. Where we roll that. 1-5. K plus. So it's a add 15. 24. Struck him out. Gibson. Comes back firing hard. Ed Charles. 2-1. Same thing, K plus 10, 15, 24, same thing again. Came Kareem Pool, 2 5, range play at the ballpark. 1 1, G6, that's the shortstop. His range is a 3, he makes the play. Now, last time when they played the um, New York Mets at Bush, Art Shamsky had two home runs. And one thing I thought that the home run results were kind of low, but now they're starting to match up. Shannon hit a home run last game, too, for the Cardinals. So Cepeda, let's get this in focus. Cepeda, McCarver, and Shannon. 
four six walk chance. He's a righty ten. Three walks. Tim McCarver. One three hitters card. Five four. Ooh, that's a question mark eight versus a righty. Eighteen flies out to center. Mike Shannon. Five three possible wild pitch. It's a seven. That's a wild pitch. Cepeda moves to second. Five five possible error. Six three ground out to the second baseman. The error rating of the second baseman is a zero, so he makes the play. Jerry Bushik makes the play. Cepeda to third. Shannon grounds out to second. Julian Javier. Two five range play. Six five pop out to second. Let's make sure he gets there. He's a two. He might not get to this six, and he does not. So a failed range on a P four is a single, which drives in Cepeda. So Cepeda scored on a walk, a wild pitch by Sama. Advances to third on Shannon's ground out, and Javier drives him in. Dale Maxville makes it 2-1. to one. Two, one, righty walk plus, so add 10, 25, he walks. Maxville, first and second. Six, three, possible hit by pitch. He's a seven, plus two is a nine, hits Gibson. Our base is loaded. Hits Gibson with the pitch. Gibson didn't like that. Lou Brock. 3 5, that's a ballpark. 4 1, ground out to second. So can't get any more than one. It's 2 to 1, Mets. Shamsky. The great Arn Shamsky, who uh, hit two home runs off Gibson. Last game, he had 12 home runs in 1968 and 345 at-bats. 3-5, that's a double asterisk. It's a three, it's ground out to third. Jerry Grody. Six two. He's a righty K plus, so you add fifteen because ten five is a fifteen twenty five struck out Brody. Must have been a lot of strikeouts to Shea in sixty eight. Jerry Bushik four three walk chance six seventeen nothing there one four fly out to right. Kirk Flood, followed by Maris and Cepeda. 3 1, we got a hitter's card. 4 5, single pass to second baseman. Let's see if Maris can do something. They're at least hitting Selma. 5 3, possible wild pitch. 3, that's a wild pitch. Flood goes to second.
Maris. 5-3, another wild pitch chance. 15, nothing there. 3-3. Three, three. You gotta go in the hitter's the pitcher's card again on that. Three three. He's a lefty, double asterisk. Three G six. It's considered a foul ball. Let's check what uh, floods BR to four. Let's see if he advances to third. He goes to third. Okay, so Maris grounds out to short. Flood moves to third. One out for Cepeda. 6-2, walk chance. 10-11, hitter's card. 2-1, fly out to left. Let's see if he scores. His SF is a 1. 6. Nothing there. Failed SF. Then you roll and check the throw chart only with the BR. So it's a left fielder. It's a 0. Excuse me. Left fielder is Shamsky. He's a 0. Flood is a 4. Yep. 4 and a 0 is 4. Let's check the throw chart. 25 runners advance so flood scores Cepeda gets to sacrifice RBI McCarver is the batter with no runners on base a tie game 4-4 four, four, possible throwing error 3-1 line out to the shortstop There's nobody on base, so no potential throwing error. Selma Harrelson and top of the order. Selma Harrelson and Larry Stahl. 5 1, hit by pitch chance, 20, nothing there. He almost wanted to hit Selma back. 5-1. Selma, single to center. How about that? Dick Selma. 2-2 two to two game. Trying to help his cause. Bud Harrelson. 1-6. Possible error on a grounder. 2-1, single, no error check on that, so we got an S4, base runner of 3-6 to six will move to third, nope, Selma has a 2, so Selma goes to second on the single by Harrelson past the second baseman. Larry Stahl, homer, his last time up, two-run homer, comes up with runners on first and second. Five, six, possible wild pitch, it's a 14, nothing there.
Pesci. Roll again on the pitcher's card. It's considered a foul ball. 6-2. Lefty. That's a hitter's card. 6-2 again. That's a G5. So we got a possible double play. One, zero, second baseman zero, I believe, two. So the one is the only thing. Six, I think they make that's an automatic. So he just makes the play at first. So five to three. Runners move to second and third. One out for Cleon Jones. Gibson could use a strikeout right here. 3-1. Plus 5. Righty. 9. 14. 10. Struck him out. That was key for Gibson. Ed Charles. 5-2. Possible error. They haven't been fielding well the last few games. Bringing in runs. 4-1. That's a single by Ed Charles with a one. With an additional throwing error. It's only one base for the runners, so but that brings in Well it says and the runner advancement chart second to home it's two to six. And then you add one, so it'd be one to six. So that tells me but then this says one base only all runners. Infield single, even if no error. One base only, all runners. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so Selma comes in. Harrelson goes to third. Crane pulls the batter. Gibson's not happy. 4-2, possible K chance. First to righty, 5 plus 5 is 10, 11. Couldn't get that. 1-3. Uh-oh. Question mark 7 versus a righty. 15. That's a triple. Ed Cranepool hits a triple. How about that? Two runs come in. The Mets have the number. Gibson. Left field. Crane pool hits a triple. Art Shamsky. 3-3. Three, three, possible throwing error. 3-3. Three, three, G5. That's a 3. The third baseman's a 10. That's a two-base throwing error. Crane pool comes in. Jerry Grody. 3 6. He's a righty. That's an out. Two. Ground out to second. A 
Shannon leads off in the top of the fourth. 1-6 possible K chance. 11 plus 5 is 16. 5 strikes out Shannon. Julian Javier. 6-1 K chance. 1 struck him out. Someone was inspired by the Mets bats. 4-2 hitters card. 1-1. One, one. He's a righty. Grounds out to short. Jerry Bushik, Dick Salma, 6-4 in the top of the order. K chance, 19, 12, plus 5, 17. Doesn't get through, 4-3. It's a question mark, 7. With a 5, that's a double for Jerry Bushik. The rolls are not going the way of Gibson today. They're finding the right cells here to hit Selma. One, three, K chance, eight, struck him out. Bud Harrelson. Six, four, to K chance, ten, struck him out. Larry Stahl, 1-2, he's a lefty, he hit that home run in the second, 2-1, single pass to shortstop, we got two outs, 3-6 makes it home, Buchek is a 3, he scores, Leon Jones, 1-3, K chance, 9-14, 9 strikes him out. Gibson, with his roughest outing of the year by far here in Shea. Maxville, excuse me, Gibson, he's going to stay in. See if can, they can turn this around. 5-1, K chance, 10, struck him out. Lou Brock. 6-3, possible hit by pitch. 3 plus 2 is a 5, nothing there. One six double for Brock, right to right field. He's been a little hot with the bat lately. Kurt Flood, six four. Possible error on a grounder. Let's roll here. A roll here. Five one, same roll anyways. Fly out to right. Let's see if. He'll go. He, he's a. Uh, let's just see. Just a BR rating. Five. I think Brock's four. Yep, he's a four, so he'll stay. Roger Maris. Two six left eaters. A walk chance. Ten. Eleven. Go to hitter's card. Four five. Single left. Hopefully they'll score Brock. We add plus one to Brock. So let and also the left fielder is a zero. 
So it's a five. Right? And there's two outs. So six. Five, he scores. So Maris drives in Brock. Cepeda. Four three, possible walk chance ten to twelve. Six two single for Cepeda past the shortstop. Six. And so four to six will go to third. Maris is a three. Okay, so first and second, two outs, Tim McCarver. A lot of runs here. Three, five, ballpark. Four, six, double asterisk, two. Grounds out to third. They can only manage one. I'm leaving a lot of runners on base here, the Cardinals had. And Shea. Gibson wanted to stay in. He'll be facing Charles, Crane, Cool, and Shamsky. 4 6. K chance. 9 plus 5 is a 14. So 7 strikes out Charles. Cranepool, who tripled his last at bat. 4 1, batter's card. 5 3, ground out short. Shamsky. 1 6, possible error on a grounder. 5 4, G3. Cepeda, 8. I think he misses that. That's an error for Cepeda on a G3. Boots the ball. So Shamsky's got on two errors today. Jerry Grody. A lot of iron gloves out there lately for the Cardinals. 5-1 hit by pitch. He's 5-0. Go to the batter's card. Five, six, ground out. Cepeda makes that play. We move on to the six. It's seven to three. Gibson with his worst outing of the year. Cardinals have got some rallies, but they've been leaving a lot of people on base here. Six inning. Six, one, K chance. Eleven, plus five, sixteen. Eleven struck him out. Julian Javier, 2-1, he's a righty, walk plus, so he had 10, 16, walked Javier, Dale Maxville, 6-4, possible error on a grounder, 2-4, that's a G5, that's an error on Charles, Boots it. E5. Runners on first and second. I want to keep Gibson in there. There's only five innings. Let's see what he can do. He's going to try to hit two. 6-6 six, six, possible wild pinch. 17. Considered a foul ball. Six six, another one twenty, another foul ball. Five four K 
K-Chance, 17, struck him out. Brock, first and second. 6-1, K-Chance, 4, struck him out. Selma's now fatigued. He's got 28 batters due up, so I'll probably get somebody in for him. All right, so we got, let's see, Buchik, Selma, and Harrelson. We're most likely going to pinch hit for Selma. K-Chance struck out Buchik. Okay, Tommy Eiji will be pinch hitting. 3-4, K-Chance, 3, struck out AG. But Harrelson, 1-1 one, one ballpark, 2-1, that's blank, so that's a rare play with bases empty. 3-3, three, three. Grounder to short who throws in the dirt, making the first baseman scoop the ball. Resolve play using a range play check for the first baseman to see if he scoops the ball. Otherwise, an E6. So the first baseman is Cepeda. He's a three. He makes the play. He scoops it up. The Mets will be having a replacement pitcher, Don Cardwell. Selma did a great job. Selma pitched a nice six. The score is seven to three. Flood, Maris, and Cepeda will be facing Cardwell. Four five. That's ball. That's excuse me. Hitter's card. Six three. That's ground out to first. Maris. Five four. That's hitter's card. Five five. That's a double asterisk five. Grounds out to second. Orlando Cepeda. Four four hitter's card two four pop out to second McCarver Shannon. Oh, excuse me. Nope. Stall Jones and Charles. For the New York Mets. Six one K chance ten plus five is fifteen strikes out char stall. Gibson's piling up the strikeouts here at Shea. Two six, another K chance nine plus five is fourteen seven strikes him out. He struck out Jones four times today. Ed Charles. 4, 6, another K chance, 9, plus 5 is 14, 18. Just missed that one. 6, 4, single left. Ed Cranepool, who tripled back in the third to drive in a couple of runs. 5, 5, K chance, 
5 plus 5 is a 10. 10 struck him out too. Let's see how many strikeouts Gibson has. So I'm just curious. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 strikeouts for Gibson. Cardwell will be facing McCarver, Shannon, and Javier. 1 5, K chance. He's a righty. 4 plus 5 is 9. Struck him out. Five three, he's a righty, so just a one will do something there. So we move on to the uh, hitter's card. Two five double to right for Shannon. Julian Javier, let's see if they can get some life back into this. 1-3, that's a hitter's card. 1-3 again, ground out to second. He advances Shannon to third. Let's see if Maxwell can do anything. 1-3, that's a ballpark, excuse me, hitter's card. 6-3, double asterisk three, grounds out to short. Gibson's approach of fatigue, but we'd love to see like 15 strikeouts here. Let's see if we can get some more. Shamsky, Brody, and Buchek. 1 4. K chance. 9 plus 5 is 14. 5 strikes out Buchek. Strikes out Shamsky. Excuse me. Grody, 4-3, walk chance, 15, 13, he walks Grody. He is now fatigued, but we want those strikeouts. Buchek, he feels good, 2-2, two, two. that's a ballpark. 3-6, double asterisk, 4, which is a G6. Buchek's double play is a 4-0. Zero, three, double play, six, four, three. Gibson's out of that. He went eight. And we will be bringing a pitch hitter in for him for the uh, last ups of the... Uh... Okay, the Mets bring in Cal Coons. The... Cardinals bring in Bobby Tolan. See if we can get anything going here. Four three walk chance five. It's a twenty hitters card. Three six double asterisk three grounds out to third. Lou Brock. Six one range play at the stadium. Two six F eight. So it's a fly up the center. He's a four stall. He cannot get it. It's a two. It's just a single. Let's see if Brock can. Get a lead, can't. Three two K chance, nineteen, nothing there. Five four G five. So one zero second base zero. Five nothing there.
Flood reaches on a fielder's choice. Brock's out at second. Roger Maris, glassed out here. 4-3 walk chance. 7. He walks him. Got runners on first and second. Two outs for Orlando Cepeda. 5-4. He's a righty. That's a double asterisk. That's an out. Five. That's a G4. He grounds out to second to finish up the game. Seven runs for the Mets. Three for the Cardinals. And Gibson gets the loss. He moves his record to 12-7. and seven. He went, went all eight. He gave up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits, one home run, one, two. Let's just check the earned runs. Two, three, four, five, six earned runs, seven total. One walk. Fourteen strikeouts. So he comes to Shea. Larry Stahl starts everything off with a two-run homer, and then he can't recover. And then Cranepool had a key triple back here in the third. It's been some tough goings for Gibson, but we're we're sticking with him and we're enjoying the game. So uh, let's keep it going. We'll see you game twenty-three where the Cardinals head back to Bush Stadium and face the Chicago Cubs and Ferguson Jenkins. See you then. Thanks for joining.